Hey guys, I'm Common Rider Silver, and here we go with the last of our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NECA reviews. Yeah, NECA power. Yeah, so here is Donatello. He is... Uh, Donatello is a feller, fellow. He has a way with machines, and he's purple. So yeah, here we are. I love this figure. This is a really, really cool figure. He's got some, he's got a nice accessory. I love the color of his bandana. Is that all kind of weird on camera? Huh, I don't know. Good enough. Yeah, this is a cool figure. So... Taking a look at his accessory first, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek first. There we go. Put Donatello to the side. This is his bow staff, and as you just saw, it can break into two pieces. So you can easily slip it into his hand. So you put it in one hand, and you put this in the other, and then you just bring the two together. Snap it back into place, and you got Donatello holding his bow staff. So it can do that just like Leonardo's katanas. But looking at the actual bow staff itself, you can see it's a very nice, nice texturing on there, on the handle. Let's see if you can see that. Very nice, and you can see the lines in the wood. You can even see like the rings of the wood. Ooh, wow! I am vibrating today. See if you can see that. Come in. Well, that is not focusing today. There you go. Look at that. It's very detailed. It's very nice. It's a little warped, but nothing that some hot water blow dryer can't fix. And like I said, it just fits nicely in his hands. You could you could kind of snap it in there, um, but for some two-handed poses, it's probably easiest to use that trick. But uh, there you go. He looks super cool with that. Look at that. Now take a look at the figure itself. Of course, he shares the same body as all the other turtles, but he has, you know, his new head sculpt. So, take a look at that. It's very calm. No teeth showing. Just straight over. And the color of his bandana is so nice. It's very dark purple. The texture of his skin is just awesome. Again, I love the shell. Uh, something I didn't point out on the other turtles is that they actually all have tails. So you can see it right there. And it's articulated, so it rotates. It's cool. Now, articulation on this guy is he has a ball jointed head, so he looks up that much, down that much. He has the ball hinge that looks, uh, he has the hinge that looks down and up. He has the ball hinge like at the shoulder, so his arms go up that much, down, forward, and a little bit backwards when it's hindered by the shell. He has a swivel at the bicep, single jointed elbow, swivel at the wrist, hinge at the hand. Uh, he has a he has a um, a waist cut, so it goes like this. He has that little articulating tail that I forgot to talk about in the other turtles. He has the ball hinge like at the thigh, so they go forward, backwards, in and out. He has double joint at the knee, single joint at the foot. So he's pretty good articulated, just like the other turtles, and you can get him in some some pretty cool poses. I'm not the best at posing just straight out. It takes me a little bit. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, no, I think I got this. Oh, shoot. I think I just almost broke it. It's a pretty cool pose right there. Yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and... And I'm going to have some, some new Ninja Turtles 
stop motions coming up. They're going to be a series of stop motions that I hope will be pretty cool. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!